my AirPods Max have a problem. And uh, I think it's, I'm not sure, I'm making this video as sort of a public service announcement to let people know what I'm experiencing and what a lot of other people are experiencing. So let's get right down to it and talk about what this problem is. After the first few days of using the AirPods Max, I noticed that the battery was having some issues. I first noticed this when I put them on a headphone hanger without the case uh, and left them there for a couple of days. I, I didn't use them for a couple of days over the Christmas holiday. We were busy, etc., etc. And I also didn't use the desk that they were sitting on in that time either. The other day I went back to get them and they were at about 77% charge when I put them there. I know I just, I just looked to see where they were to see what kind of charge they had left. When I pulled them off, they had gone down to a 35% charge. That was disturbing to me because once you put them down, even if the case isn't on, they're supposed to go into a low power mode in five minutes. And I assumed that that would mean they drain little to no battery. Uh, and some people say, you know, it's maybe 1% an hour or something like that. But what I'm experiencing is akin to, after I did the math, about one to two, maybe 3% battery per hour. I wanted to test out whether or not this was actually a problem or if it was just this one-time thing. So then I put them in the case. I laid them down on my piano here, sitting here, uh, didn't use the piano, and left them there from 35%, right? And then I did my work for the day, I you know, probably four or five hours, and I picked them back up. I took them out of the case, and they were at 12% in the red and I put them on and used them for literally five minutes, and all of a sudden the, uh, the low battery tone went off. So I decided to plug them in, in the case, and get them fully charged overnight, so that then last night I unplugged them, I brought them back, I put them on, uh, on the piano again. I went to bed, about nine hours later, I came down, I pulled them out, and lo and behold, they had gone from 100% when I took them off the charger to 84%. For a 16% battery drain over the course of, let's say, eight or nine hours or so. So here's the thing. The AirPods Max are supposed to, when they're not in the case, go into low power mode in five minutes, and then they're supposed to go into ultra low power mode when they have been inert, laying, untouched, not anything, blah, 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 after 72 hours without the case. By my math, they would have never gotten to 72 hours before they ran out of the battery, given that they were at 100% and then they went down to 84% over the course of nine hours. So obviously there's something wrong with the AirPods battery. I really like the AirPods. So I wondered, is it just me? Is there something going on? Do I need to update something? Blah, blah, blah. I really still like the AirPods Max very much, and I am testing them against the Drop Pandas and all other kinds of stuff. I'm gonna do a video about these versus the Drop Pandas, my after two weeks full experience video, as well as you know, what you should buy instead of the AirPods Max. All that's coming up on the channel sometime soon, so if you haven't subscribed already, maybe maybe you wanna get that done. Some of you might be sitting out there saying, well, I mean, you know, what do you expect? They don't turn off, they're always there for you to use them, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, that's, that's a great feature, even though some people don't quite understand that that's a feature, it's a great feature because they're always right there to, to be used. But the thing of it is, if I'm gonna run out of battery before I pick the headphones up again after leaving them for a day or so, then that's not good enough. That's not $550 worth of good. That's a problem. And if I can't put them on a headphone hanger, which is still unclear, if I can't put them on a headphone hanger, which is where I keep normally all of my headphones, as you can see back here, I mean, I've got tons of headphones and I, I just can't lay them all flat on the table, so, if I can't do that, then we're gonna have a problem. To Apple's credit, they did see my original tweet and tweeted back and said, hey, let's talk in the DMs about what we can do to help you get through this problem. They asked me some questions, I provided them some answers. We went back and forth about four or five times and then ultimately we set up a call on Monday of, of next week to go ahead and talk to a service person to figure out if we could figure out what's going on. Now. You might be thinking, well, Jason, maybe it's just you. Maybe it's just you that has this problem. And I decided to do some research and see if other people were having this problem. I found a Mac Rumors forum post with a hundred responses in the thread that were all describing 
this same kind of problem in very, very similar ways. It all seemed to start happening for these folks after five days when they got the AirPods. You know, that's about maybe when it started for me. I think for a lot of people, when you're using the headphones, you, you get them, they're brand new, you're using them all the time, you have to charge them, et cetera, et cetera. You're not gonna see this problem, but when you stop using them all the time and, and they have to sit for a while, then you recognize, hey, this is an issue. So maybe it's not everyone, but I did find a lot of people having the same problem. Honestly, if this is a, a thing that can't be fixed in the short term, then I'm gonna have to return these, even though I love the way they sound. I haven't found a headphone that I like sounding better than these. I can't put $550 into a pair of headphones that's gonna drain battery between the time that I put them down and I pick them back up, no matter what power mode they go in. I put them in the case, they still drain more battery than I really think they should have. I mean, here are my Soundcore Q10s. These are really great headphones. They're not at the level of the AirPods Max. They're, I think, $20, <laughs> and they sound fantastic. If you're looking for a, a really fantastic sounding wireless headphone for cheap, uh, these Soundcore Q10s, I'll, I'll link them down in the description, they sound great. They have 60 hours of battery life, along with the, the Q30s that I talked about in another video. Soundcore Q Q10s and Q30s offer 60 hours of battery life. The Q10s don't have noise canceling. They don't have any sort of fancy features. They're just wireless headphones. And <laughs> the crazy thing is, I got them back in February. And I don't use them all the time because I have all kinds of headphones. But let's see. I haven't used them in months at this point. They just popped right back on. I've never charged them since I got them. So it's not that this can't be done. And I know that the AirPods Max work in different ways and offer different features. So it's not an apples to apples comparison. It's important to recognize that this kind of battery drain is just not gonna cut it for a $550 headphone. If it can be fixed, I'm still all the way on board. If it can't be fixed in the short term, uh, then I'm gonna have to make a different decision. So that's kind of my AirPods experience after my initial experiences with and review of the headphones. Let me know what your experience has been so far. Have, been, have you been having some battery drain? Have you been experiencing some kind of difficulty with the AirPods Max that maybe you didn't expect to have? Let me know down in the comments. We'll have a boisterous discussion about that down there. Once again, thanks so much for being here. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please think about subscribing. Uh, there'll be more AirPods Max, more Apple, more headphones, more audio, more smartphones. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, check out the members ships and the and the merchandise that are available down there below. Once again, my name's Jason. This is painfully honest tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time. I'm out.